welcome back to uh, the Euro C Sucks Plays of Dark Souls. I am your humble host, joined again by nobody, Medi Bobo. And uh, if you, where we last left off, we had just gotten to Firelink, and uh, we noticed this guy. He was kind of giving us the eye. So let's go. Let's let's talk to him. There's no celebration here. You'd have done better to rot in the undead asylum. But too late now. <sighs> well, since you're here, let me help you out. There are actually two bells of awakening. One's up above in the undead church. The other is far, far below in the ruins at the base of Light Town. Bring them both. And something happened. Brilliant trap. Not much to go on. But I have a feeling that won't stop you. So, off you go. It is why you came, isn't it? To this accursed land of the undead? <laughs> well then. He seems like a cheery chap. He seems like a cheery chap, right? Well, uh, he is actually, uh... His, uh, I think, I believe his official name is the Crestfallen Knight, or the Crestfallen Warrior. And he is a returning character in all the Souls games so far. He was from Demon Souls, he was in Dark Souls 2, and here he is in Dark Souls 1. And, ooh. Hello there. Hello there. I believe we are not acquainted. I am Petrus of Paralyn. Have you business with us? If not, I'd prefer to keep a distance, if possible. Whoa. Rude. Very rude. Jerk. Hello there. I realize that I have requested that we retain our distance. But I also want you to know that it is not meant in ill will. Here, take this as a token of peace. No, go ahead. It's for you. Oh, oh, I see how it is. You just, you're just gonna give me a fucking penny. You know what? No, no, screw you. Screw you. And screw your vases. Screw. Fuck the pottery. Fuck it. It's garbage. And you know what? Fuck this one in particular. I'm gonna keep your penny. And then, I'm gonna come back one day, and I'm gonna cram it down your throat. You and your stupid bull haircut. Tiny head. Anyways, moving on, after I'm done, uh, berating that, uh, fine, upstanding holy man. Uh, we come across this area. This area is not really important right now, so we're gonna leave it. But, uh, that area will become very important later. Uh, we have four humanity, which is pretty good. Moving on, we're gonna go up here and get some secret items. Even though these items aren't super secret, not a lot of people find them. Because not a lot of people explore in Dark Souls. And I'm just going to pop an S just because I can. And, uh, hey look! Hidden chests! We full of a lot of things. I'm not going to get that one. That one only has a red cracked eyed orb in it. I don't need that. Uh, Morningstar and a Talisman. Sweet. Those are really good. Uh, what's in this one? Homeward Bones. Those are really good. And down here, I believe, is just some Lloyd Talismans, but I'm going to grab them anyways, because those are good for an enemy later on. And, uh, let's get moving. Uh, I'm going to risk something really quick. Uh, do not do this. Do not do what I'm going to do, because I want an item. Nope. This is not an area for me to be in right now. And this is really dumb of me. There's a Vihander. And, uh, down here is the item I want. Where is my homeward bones? There they are. Oh, God. No, no, please don't kill me. Oh, God. I died. So, yeah, this is the skeleton graveyard. Not a nice place. Don't go here. Or else this will happen. Yeah, 2,000 souls isn't a lot to lose. I mean, it is because I haven't leveled up yet, but... I don't want to go back there, so I'm just going to kind of leave them there. Because, fuck that place. 
But, uh, Homeward Bones, I wanted to get the binoculars because I like to look at things during this game, uh... Oh yeah, I forgot they are a use item in this game, not a not a weapon. But yeah, uh, binoculars. They work like this. Hello there. And uh, here's our crestfallen chat. Binoculars are really are a really cool weapon, or a really cool item. Wow. I think in Dark Souls 2 they count as a weapon. So um, I was playing a lot of Dark Souls 2 recently. Really good game. I like it a lot. So, uh, besides that, we're not going to the skeleton graveyard, so we have to go in another- oh, Wow, I fucking- Fuck this enemy. I- Okay, not having a good- Not having a good run with these enemies. That is a- That is- A lot of the undead soldiers have a spasm attack like that, and uh, I normally avoid it. But I just, I wasn't reading the tells right, and I got hit. It happens. Ooh! That could be a really good drop. Please let it be the thing I want it to be. Oh. Alright, you see that guy? He has a chance of dropping... What did he... Oh, he dropped pants. Oh, hey, look, we have pants, sort of. Those are... I feel like that's more revealing, but whatever. Uh, he has a chance of dropping his axe, and I really wanted his axe, because his axe is a really good weapon for start game. But, uh, yeah, we're gonna move on, and... Ooh. Nice item over here. Soul of the Lost Undead, sweet. Those are basically, like, walking around with money pouches that you can pop whenever you want. I kill this rat, because this is the only rat I can- I believe in the game that is non-hostile at first. Ooh, more souls of the lost undead. Gonna keep walking this way. Oh, the reason I went this way is because this is one of the only ways you can proceed. You can go... There's another route you could go to, but I really don't want to go to that area right now and fight the boss down there, even though he's a very easy boss and I could have taken him. I think I'm going to come back to him after I finish off the boss of this area. You guys will see what I'm talking about soon. Well, yeah, this is a really simple area. Going to the next, next, ah, uh, next named area, I guess is the best way to put it. Ooh, crack shield, that's garbage. Firebomb, that's not so much garbage. Let me equip that. Oh, it's already equipped. Okay. Whatever game. Uh, remember people, not all fog gates lead to bosses. Just most of them. Keep going this way. We're gonna stop going this way. Eh. I like that event. I don't actually know if you can hurt the Hellkite Drake, though. I wonder if you can actually do damage to his health bar. I wonder if it's possible to kill him there. Pro you'd have to do it with mods, of course, but, uh... I wonder if it's possible to hit him while he lands there and just, like, instant kill him. That'd be something cool. Uh, moving over here with my shitty shield. Oh. Smack this enemy in the face. Die. Now oh, he didn't drop an item. He has a low chance of dropping his crossbow, which would be really nice of him. Oh. That was really risky. Don't do that, people. But as you can see in here, another bonfire. Bam. But don't rest at it, because I would respawn all the enemies, and I don't want to do that right now. Because I'm going to go collect some loot and visit someone in this area. Let's pick up that wooden shield, replace our garbage shield with this nice, nicer looking wooden shield. And you know what, I'm just going to take this ugly. Ugh. We might be getting something better very soon. Huh! And these guys are here to teach you that if you duel, if you hold a weapon with both hands, uh, you can break shields very easily and do more damage. Get on down here. 
This guy's not gonna catch me by surprise. And take him out again. He didn't drop his axe, damn it. The axe is a really good item, but I don't think it's worth buying. And uh here oh, is now. the you merchant. Your wits about you. Then you are a welcome cast <laughs> He sells a nice uh, assortment of wares. Uh, I'm gonna buy this from him. I keep forgetting that this isn't like Dark Souls 2. Ooh, that's pretty pricey. Oh, I should pop my souls while I'm here. Probably throw away that. I'll show you guys what humanity does in just a second. Ooh, I had a large soul of the lost undead. I forgot I had that. Okay, so I'm just gonna pop a few souls here, get myself some currency. I think we are now ready to do some business with this fine, upstanding gentleman. And I'm gonna buy some armor from him because, you know, Yox is looking a little cold. She's just running around and and her tidy whities So, uh, we're gonna put on some, uh, nice armor. I didn't buy the helmet because the helmet looks stupid. We are medium rolling, that's not that great, but whatever. Look at her, look how, look how lovely she looks in her chainmail. Chainmail is a pretty good, decent set of armor for, for, for beginners. I like it, myself. Now we're gonna rest at the bonfire, and uh, I think we're gonna pop some humanity because we have I haven't shown you guys what humanity does, and I also kind of want to kindle this bonfire. I am forgetting no. Okay, as you can see, I have a big two next to my health bar now. That means I have two humanity on right now. So, first I'm going to reverse my hollowing and make my character look all beautiful. Alright. And now I'm going to kindle, which means normally bonfires only give you 5 Estus when you rested them. But now, when I rested this one, it will give me 10. Firelink bonfire comes pre-kindled. So, let's uh, get moving on. And holy crap, that's a lot of summoning signs. I do not think I need this much help for Taurus Demon. But, a lot of these people might be going for the Sunbro Covenant, and hey, why not summon, look at this, look at this lovely person, look how happy they must be. And, uh, you know, a lot of people say summoning is, uh, for losers, but, uh, I'm just gonna summon because, oh, summoning failed! Summoning failed! Look at all of these summoning signs. Let's uh, summon that guy, and uh, let's see if we can summon a... Uh... I think I can summon in a whole posse. Look at all these fucking people. Summoning failed! Remember, people. Dark Souls summoning is garbage. And uh, last, last try, last shot. Let's see if we can get someone to help us through this area. I mean, not really help us through this area, because this area is really fucking easy. Oh! We might have a winner. <laughs> nope, apparently we didn't. No winners. I'm going to see if I can... Okay, one last shot. Sorry I'm wasting all this time here. Come on. Dark Soul Summoning likes to keep you on edge like this. Just tell me if failed or not. We might have some buddies showing up. Until then, we're gonna go beat up the guys down here. Summoning failed! Lovely. So, a bunch of wasted time. Basically, that's summoning in a nutshell. Constantly failing. I don't normally summon for this area anyways, I was just doing it because, you know, had to. Look at all of those signs. Summoning failed! 
I guess they both failed. I, one didn't tell me it failed already, so... Oh! I parried him. Wasn't going for that, but whatever, I parried. Parrying is good. That's how you parry in this game. You just don't pay attention and you swing wildly. Actually, that's how you parry in this game. That's parrying in a nutshell is... Doing this when the enemy... It's... Click... It's... Pressing L2 when an enemy swings at you. Though, I'm not very good at it, so I'm not gonna be doing it a lot. Ooh, a chest. Black fire bombs. Black fire bombs are very useful. Especially in some playthroughs, I've seen some people demolish bosses with black fire bombs. It's crazy how underrated they are, yet how overpowered they can be. Though I don't believe they can scale damage-wise, so they do a base amount of damage, and for starting game... Oh, fuck. They can do sh crazy damage to some bosses. Especially if you pick black fire bombs for your starting gift when it comes to Asylum Demon, you can pr you can take him out when you first meet him. I'm gonna take care of these guys because I get really tired of them throwing fire bombs. Oh god. Well then, I fell to my death. That doesn't normally happen. That's kind of embarrassing. Well, that sucked. Let me take out these guys again, because if you do not take out these guys, they will indeed follow you to the next area. And they are not fun when you have uh, three dudes chasing you from behind and four dudes ahead of you. It is, it's not, it's not good times. You got those firebomb throwing douchebags. Oh, come on, I totally parried. Fuck, 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 firebombs. You got attacks like that. Ooh. Lucky there. I killed a dude and he dropped it. He, within his souls, he dropped his humanity. Which is a random occurrence, but it can happen every now and then. Which I guess is the, what random occurrence means, so that was redundant. Anyways. So now I have a free humanity. I don't have to pop another, I don't have to pop humanity to use it. I just gotta use it if I want to. Humanity is good for increased drop rates and... Also, just having it increases your damage output for some weapons. Some weapons I do not have right now, but the increased drop rate is really nice, because maybe I can get that axe I really wanted. But, uh, I'm gonna leave those firebomb guys alone, because they don't really bother you all that much. They only are there to annoy you from for that one area. And the item up there isn't all that great. I believe it's just a uh, Soul of a Lost Undead. And you got these guys. More shield dudes. Oh god. My poison. I have really low poise. That sucks. Whoa! Uh, you notice healed. Uh, all undead, e including us, have the Estus Flask. Meaning they can heal at any time. I believe enemies have infinite Estus Flasks, but I have not tested that. So we're right, gonna go over here and unlock this door with our master key. You can buy the key for that door at the Undead Merchant for, I believe, a thousand souls. It's pretty useful. It gives you this nice item right here, this gold pine residue. I like it a lot. But going down here, we have this, this jerk. I'm gonna see if I can take him out. He'll probably kill me because he has... He does a lot of damage and his damage pierces my shield, so... 
Ooh, that means someone used an Estus Flask nearby. That's really good. That is not really good. That guy hit me really, really hard. Let's see if I can pop an Estus without him hitting me. Nope, he hits me. This is a uh, Black Knight. They are not fun to fight. Mainly because they do shitloads of damage and this one at this particular point in a game is not easy to fight. You know, he's being kind of stupid. Trying to get him in a backstab. Whoa, that was a delayed reaction. Come on, Yox. Stop being stupid. Having a little difficulty here, I don't know why. Ah, oh, boo, I totally parried that. Fuck off. So yeah, this is, uh... He is something you should really learn how to parry against. He's a pretty powerful enemy. some delay which is really starting to bother me because just a little bit of delay can fuck you over in Dark Souls mainly because this is a very reaction based game there's another enemy throwing a fit it may just be because I'm not used to Dark Souls 1's controls so I haven't played it in a while Oh, come on. Back I backstabbed you. Okay, we have a uh, we're going to have a little party out here. Why not? I'm trying to get into a spot where I can heal. There we go. Take them both out. Did any of them drop anything? Nope. Hey, there's my blood stain. This is not going as well as I would hope. But there's my backstab, and that's really good. Good for me. Backstab. Is there another guy there? Nope. Okay, so picked up my bloodstain. I also got that humanity back because humanity and your souls go into your bloodstain when you die. And you can recover them after you die. But if you die again after that, you cannot get them back. They are gone forever. Oh, fuck. I'm not having a good time with this. Specifically hate the spear guys. But bam. Slam. Thank you man. I also haven't leveled up at all. Which is probably not a good idea. But who cares. Leave that black knight for later. Oh god. That barrel though. And he's dead, and he dropped another humanity, so... Oh. I don't know if I want to go in there with two humanity. You know what? I'm feeling a little risky today. I'm probably going to lose it all. We're going to go take on the, uh, the boss of this area. Ooh, another fog gate. I wonder what's up, bro Oh, hey, look, I was uh, pleasantly surprised with there be nothing being around here. Uh, before you go ahead, you may want to come up here. This is just a... This is a nice area to be at, because look at all these enemies. They'd be shooting you with crossbows from a distance while you're trying to fight what's about to appear.
I have shit stamina. I kind of want to get rid of that. Four Estus Flasks, two Humanity on me. I'm feeling risky. Also, if you just hold circle on the uh, ladder, you'll slide down, which is faster. Oh, okay, hello. Hello, big scary giant demon thing, the Taurus demon. Tauros demon. Tauros demon. Oh my god, that's a big axe. He has a big scary axe. But he has nothing against my plunging attack. He's also weak to lightning, which I just infused my club with. So let's see how he enjoys some lightning in his butt. Also, the best spot for him is to stay right on his crotch and just wail on him. You can do that, but that's not that much damage, honestly. Uh, some of the enemies were hitting me harder than that. Oh, and he's done. Very simple boss fight, especially if you pick up the gold pine residue. And, uh, let's see how many souls he drops us. I think he drops, like, 4,000. 3,000. I was off by 1,000. But, uh, we got 5,000 souls, which is a pretty decent amount of souls. And we didn't even need to use one whole Estus. I don't know what I was worried about. But, uh, keep moving. Whoop! And, hey, look. So I've lost undead. That's pretty nice, right? I think it's pretty nice. Hmm. That's an odd opening. Oh, hey, look. A friendly stranger. Ah, uh, hello. You don't look hollow. Far from it. I am Thaler of Astora, an adherent of the Lord of Cloud. Now that I am undead, I have come to this great land, to the birthplace of Lord Wind, to seek my very own son. You find that strange? You are scared. No need to hide the reaction. I get that with the time. That's Solaire. He's a pretty nice dude. Hmm. Odd burn marks. Guards on a bridge. Hmm. Something seriously isn't right about this area. Oh god. Well then, I didn't take nearly as much damage as I thought I would. Hmm. What a dragon. 
Look at how he's peach down there. What a loser. Anyways, alright, we're gonna go ahead and go ahead and head down here and kick down this ladder. Thank you, sign, for telling us that this is a shortcut. Because we are already back at our original bonfire. What a nice bonfire, right? I know. I'm going to reverse my hollowing and probably call it for this episode. I hope you people enjoyed and uh, have a happy day. I will see you later. Bye! Bye!